Welcome back to another episode of the Tim Tries series. So in a Tim Tries episode, I try new software that I haven't used before. And based on the experience that I have as a web developer, I will just give you my opinions as I go along. So this is raw and unedited, at least most of the time. And therefore, I hope it can provide value to other developers. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about search. And I am an Algolia ambassador, right? So why not use the Algolia crawler plugin for Netlify and see how easy that is to set up and to use. Are you ready to go to the studio? I am, let's rock. All right, we are in the browser now. So let's just start by Googling, I guess. Algolia crawler, Netlify. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. So I've been to a bunch of those, but I guess that's a while ago because I haven't really truly implemented this, right? So I see the Netlify. Oh, I hear an NPM package. Let's go there. Oh, there's click, quick start. There's some other stuff here. So um, let's just start with this quick start one. Okay. So as I said, um, I created a Netlify version of my website to make sure that of course we can do this because normally I host on for sale. So I do know because this is a crawler that things like canonical URLs, maybe sitemap URLs, maybe robots.txt stuff becomes complicated with crawler. So what I did do in preparation for this video is I actually put my website on Netlify. I fixed all URLs to the new temporary URL to test this video, right? To test for this video. And so let, let's just go to Netlify for a sec and actually have a look at that website. There we go. So it became nostalgic, du joliot. Um, okay, so this is just my website. Um, as you can see, there's a homepage, there's a bunch of videos, there's a bunch of blog posts. And so I wanna be indexing this to be able to search through my website, right? So they all have like tags and content and related videos, all really lovely for crawling. So um, my website is based on Nuxt, CMS is Prismic and it's a Jamstack site and it uses um, Cloudinary for images and now it will also be using Algolia for search, right? So there's my Netlify um, instance. Um, let's just go to, okay, so let's go to this quick start and just go over it. So let's have a look. Link your site to Algolia. First go to the Algolia crawler for Netlify and sign in with Algolia, sign in to Algolia with Netlify. Kind of makes sense. Let's just look over this for a bit. Okay, then allow Algolia access to my Netlify account. Sure, some fun, fancy all out stuff going on here. And then we can go to the crawler admin console and set it all up. Oh wait, we have to then find my um, site. Well, this is the Joliot one, right? That's the one we have to type in. Okay, then we want to install the site. It's going to add some stuff like Algolia API key. It's nice that it does that for you. Okay, and then you get a code snippet. Well, of course, I have a Nuxt website. It's based on Vue, right? So I would love to have like a Nuxt or Vue plugin for this. Um, I guess for the purposes of this video, we're just going to add this in the Nuxt config and then run with it. It's cool. And then there's a bit of indexation and branches. Aha. Uh -huh. By default, Algolia solely builds the master branch. This probably poses a problem because I actually created a fancy new branch just for this project, right? Because I don't want to change my, my official website's master branch. And so you can see that um, here, it's Netlify Algolia plugin. So we're gonna have to check um, how to fix that. I don't really see how to pass the branch but I'm assuming as it's a Netlify plugin, we can use a netlify.2ml file. Um, we'll figure that out when, when we get there. It's, it's likely gonna fail on first run because we wanna put it on the master branch. And then here we go. So it just indexes everything. 
and then look at the records and then we have to install yeah this is that same thing we just saw okay okay let's do it right let's go to the algolia crawler for netlify sign in to algolia with netlify here it goes until now it's smooth okay authorizing there it is link a new site so there it is, the Juliet. Install. Okay, cluster. I am in Europe. Ah, here it is. Here it is. EU West, that's me. Install. Smooth. Okay, so we now have a crawler, a Netlify one. I can uninstall and reinstall. Okay, so this is my Algolia app ID and this is the Algolia API key. Oh, we're gonna, let's just check this out. So these are all my API keys for Algolia, I guess. Okay, we're gonna likely need that later because there is this whole thing here. Well, of course, as I have a Nuxt site, I cannot just plop this in, but what I can do is probably just go to the header. Wait, let's just go to Nuxt config. Right, I can just add like something like this. So it's a style sheet. I always have to remember what to type for style sheets. There we go. What else do we have? We have a script. So this is just an embed basically, but then a bit of a poor man's version of it, but that's all good because you will likely use your own Right, so we're just gonna add a source. Oh, what's going wrong here? Yes. And then we have some inline stuff, but we have tricks for that with Next. Watch this. I think what I can do, because I already added this, dangerously disable sanitizers, so I can likely do this. I did that before. Um, kids, don't do this. But for this demo, this is cool. Right, so just have a template literal we're adding stuff. Oh, you see, that's that API key that we need to find, which we found here. So search only, we're not gonna be changing anything. And then we're gonna add that here. Okay, and then the selector is diff search. So it's a diff with an ID search. So let's just go to pages, just gonna plop that on my homepage. Okay, so this was done now. Let's go back to, okay, so we did like a bunch of steps already. We implemented this. Um, should we just look at that? You know what, we're just gonna look at that branch thing, but I don't really see that here. So let's just gonna click and see, because they want to do library parameters, right? But we're not coding this thing. We're just installing it. So this worries me a little. You see there, you can actually set these branches. Okay. Um, so we don't need this. I'll have this here. Ah, there's branches also in the NPM. Four days ago. We're bleeding edge, baby. Okay, so available parameters, input branches. This is what we need, right? Because we need this one. Netlify Algolia plugin. So set the right branch. Example, here we go. Yeah, so this is one of those 2ML files. I have one open, you saw it just now in my editor, right? But it's just empty. You just copy all that stuff. Go to Visual Studio Code, there it is. And we likely don't need this stuff. We just need to give it like, we don't have this. Let's just add it here. So it was Netlify. I'll go here, yeah. plugin. Okay. I don't know why this is not highlighting. Well, I think this is fine. Okay, so I did a bunch of code here. So how about we actually commit this? Add everything. Add it, Natalie. If I, I'll go here. Yeah. 
plugin code. No typos, no typos. Running, running, running. Gonna have to push that. Of course. That's what you get in the Tim Trice video. I make mistakes, mistakes all the time. There it is. Okay. Starting the build. Anyways, l let's just see if this works, let it run. But what I also want to see is like now that we did all this, if we now go to our actual Algolia app, let's see what, what happens. So right now there's likely nothing. So it did create crawl or Netlify, but there's no index because we didn't actually build it yet, right? This, it's still logical. So I'm assuming that in this page, things will start changing once the build is done. Okay, so it's now having to generate with Nux to my Jamstack site. So it might take a minute. A few moments later. Oh, it seems to have worked. Oh, look, look, look. There's the crawler. Yeah. And then Algolia Netlify plugin started. On success, it ran something. Shall we just go to this URL? Magic. <gasps> yeah. It's actually now, after the fact, crawling my website. And so, oh, look, there it is. Nostalgic Jolio. I'm really interested in this because you see, these are all my URLs. Okay, so it's finished. It has success. Can we, ah, here, URL inspector. Let's just have a look at the ignored ones. Okay, so it ignored all the fast facet URLs that just filters the same list. So I'm assuming it just smart and say, okay, we're not going to do the query parameter things. Let's have a look at the one that's are successful. Okay. So these are my writings. There's some videos here. Um, I guess it just worked. So let, let's have a look at the, should we just wait before we go to the website, I want to see how it has indexed everything, right? So let's refresh this page. Let's see, you see, oh, there's an index now. And there's data. So this is my writings page, videos page, sponsor me. It seems like it, it got everything. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, um, I think it's time to click on the link and see if it searches. Yes, my diff search became something. Okay. Phew, wow. Nice. Okay. Wait. Performance. Nice. Again. Tim. Okay. So this thing basically works. This is amazing. All right. Um, yeah. What more should I say? You should try this. And also, um, if you've looked this far and you enjoyed what you saw, there will be a link in the description to Algolia because I have a partner link. So if you want to subscribe through that, that's awesome for me and also for you because you can get to use it for free. Anyways, this was yet another Tim Trice and a pretty successful one at that. Um, I'm going to dive into this and do more because I want my own design, right? Anyways, cheers and see you next time.